So what you need, and this is kind of cool, is what's that? Ginger. That's all you need. <laughs> and then you wax that. That will fuse and grow a branch or whatever variety you want. Oh my God. But I, no. I know a dude that's got 250 so varieties on one tree. Oh and, and, and the thing is, well, he, he did what I did. I used to go up to the common grounds fair in Maine. And if you go up to the common ground, every 50 feet on the side of the road is an old apple tree. Oh, you have an yeah. And uh, <laughs> the, the thing that's kind of neat is like, you know, every tree is a different flavor, right? So I, kind of weird, I stop and sample every tree. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, you find a nice one, you write down the mile mark, you go up in the spring, you take a cutting off and put it in your orchard. Oh. So this dude was collecting trees for his you know, red, barn, red barn orchards up in Hubberston, I think it is. Nah. Um, but he would go out and collect apples and then sample them, grow one branch. If it was good, he would graft it into his orchard and sell it. Um, but that way he had stuff that nobody else had. And you, you know, once you have that genetics, I mean, literally, that's all you need to make a new tree. And, and really, when you get down to it, that's all you need. You need like three cells and it's that's gonna fuse crazy. and grow.